Welcome back everybody, uh, Midrift here with you. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by my parking lot. Um, today what we're going to do is install a sport rack rack system on my car. Uh, so I'm trying to keep the budget under 50 bucks. Uh, I bought the system used off Kijiji and I've purchased some PVC pipe that I'm going to affix between the rails uh, so that I can put a mountain bike on the top. So we'll see how this goes. Anyway, here we go. So just so you got, so everybody out there, so just so everybody out there uh, sees what I've done here. So all I've done was taken an old inner tube and they contact cemented it to the inside just so I don't scrape the inside of my door. So what I've had to do is I've, if you see the curve or the lack of curve, I just had to straighten that out a little bit. And then the final thing, once I get the roof rack set on position, I'm gonna have to cant these fasteners, cant the fasteners so that, um, so that I have the pulling force pulling up on the door frame and not around. Um, before, that was the, before that was the issue when they kept slipping off, so. How does that look? put the bracket on it pull, it wants to pull it up when I tighten it so all I'm going to do is I'll show you bring in closer so all I'm going to try and do is pulling force is pulling perpendicular to the plane um, that should result in greater grip strength so just a, it's a beautiful sunny day here. It's it's really hot. It's uh, you may think why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt, but actually this uh, this actually keeps me a lot cooler than having a sleeve or a sleeveless shirt. So it's nice. It uh, it wicks away the moisture. Oops. So yeah. <clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back. Midriff here with you. Today's episode brought to you again by my parking lot day 100 and it doesn't matter anymore of COVID so awesome it's another beautiful sunny hot day here in the nation's capital although it's not as hot as it was yesterday so anyway bringing it back this is video two of the bike rack install on my car and I'll show you in a minute what version two looks like and if you watch the previous version version one or version zero that I would deem as a failure uh, <laughs> there's a lot of learning that happened a lot of um, bush league antics I'm sure that you're all aware of with the brackets I was making uh, using a, a hammer uh, vice grip pliers and a, a propane torch yeah I know I'm not one of my finest moments but uh, I got the goal. I was very determined to get it mounted to test it out. We'll, I'll walk you up. I'll bring you an update on that and then we'll talk into version two. So 
what happened was in version one is uh, that failure not this sorry so going back this piece broke and this was the front mount my bike was attached to it as I was pulling out of a Best Buy parking lot uh, it toppled over and I had the safety cable on there because it's always safety first and my bike came off my car scratched my car a little bit and didn't fall into the road though so we won we won that one um, what you see here this happened as I mentioned in the other video but for viewers they're just tuning in now so what, what happened here is um, I was putting the rear tire so this was a rear tire holder I was putting this on and I hastily hit my tire on the sidewall like so I hit here and that just broke it off all right I uh, didn't realize that actually this piece was hollow and you can see here it wasn't attached very strongly so back to the drawing board I contacted um, the guy I'm working with there at uh, SI3D uh, bear and uh, we got to the drawing board and I submitted new designs for this so in a minute I'll show you what version 2 looks like but this was version 1 and uh, we've since learned progress so again moving on to what I did for version 2 so here we go I went and got brackets actually made instead of these Bush League units here um, these fit very nicely I'll show you that in a moment and then I also we also went with a different design so side by side that's that's the new design character difference right there so these are the like stage one mounts that look like that they're currently on the second spot on my car rack and here's stage two so again um, bear at SI I mean his, his proper name is James but people call him bear you'll see if you ever meet him you'll uh, understand why he's a very burly man anyway side note I digress again so I got these brackets made um, they turned out fantastic I'm very happy and I got these made so going forward from the previous video again this is just a review this is what I did PVC pipe zip tie this was just the front tire holder uh, so again no load this is the rear tire holder again no load and then underneath you can see the uh, abstract brackets I'll call them up front we have this uh, version one tire holder it was you bolted down here and then it sheared just from the bike rocking back and forth so I'll bring you over here to the new versions so here we go here's version 2.0 so I added recessed holes um, I measured so I got the 90% solution here had to redrill so I'll redesign and send them off however right now I'm testing out a u-bolt design or with the bracket we'll see right now we're sliding so I'm gonna get shims installed we'll be good to go and it'll stop this one doesn't move so a couple different designs we're gonna test and adjust and then moving to the front so look at the look at the strength in the front that's not moving it's flexing the bar it's tight that if I would have done that probably on that mount like the static test I probably would have broke it so for all you designers out there do a static test so I'm gonna put you down for a second I'm gonna mount my bike up properly and give you an overview of what it actually looks like okay so we're back everybody and um, there it is that's the bike mounted up so I am super happy with what it looks like. It's still roughed in, in some roughness. It's not as polished as I want the finished product to be, but it's on its way. So I'm thinking version three. Um, already I was talking with uh, Bear when he dropped the parts off. So shout out to him for coming out this way and, and bringing me the parts. Appreciate that. Um, so I was consulting with him and talking to him. So I'm gonna change the rear mounts a little bit going to add a couple of features and um, when version 3 comes out that will be the uh, finished product so what you see right now that'll be the uh, this is what I'll be testing with and again like look at that it's flexing the whole thing so I've just added the safety 
safety cable again for security purposes as well as uh, if something does break or rip off or give way then um, my bike's not going to end up on the highway or falling into other traffic and then or hurting somebody else so that's just me and there's what it looks like from this side so I again I'm super super impressed and happy with how that pro how this project is developing so far so um, thanks for tuning in for this short little update and uh, stay tuned for version 3 and what the final polished product is like so again if you're looking for uh, 3d printed parts um, hit up uh, SI 3D Industries, Synapse Industries. Um, send Barry your files if you want. He also can help build projects. He's a very versatile um, person. So thanks for tuning in, staying this long. Um, if you want to leave something in the comments, tell me, you can tell me about um, a project that you had go horribly wrong and maybe ended up failing or you just said no nah, this is too much and uh, it didn't happen so let me know what happened there and uh, till next time keep between the ditches take care